Today marks an important anniversary for the Catholic Church in several local counties. The Diocese of Greensburg marking the 70th anniversary of its formation. Ross Gadotti was there for a special Mass. Ross. Yeah, the mass held right behind me at Blessed Sacrament Cathedral, which, by the way, was consecrated today 70 years ago as well. The service focused on a couple of things, the diocese past, present and future, and how it was originally led by a lamb. Seven decades ago, Pope Pius made official a brand new diocese from the then massive Catholic population of Western Pennsylvania. Armstrong, Indiana, Westmoreland, and Fayette, which had previously been part of the Diocese of Pittsburgh. On this day, the Diocese of Greensburg celebrated 70 years of serving the faithful. At the altar of this anniversary mass, a man who literally grew up in the local church. It is a moment of great reflection, having been born and raised in the diocese. Bishop Larry Kulak is a native of Leechburg. It really is a wonderful day for the Diocese of Greensburg and for the people of the diocese. The early parishes were the bedrock of large ethnic communities that poured into the United States from Eastern Europe during the Industrial Age. The first shepherd of the diocese was, in fact, a lamb, Bishop Hugh Lamb. Seven decades later, Lamb's successor carried on his role and carried something else. The crozier, or the pastoral staff of Bishop Lamb, who was the first bishop of the Diocese of Greensburg, and he was handed that pastoral staff at his installation almost 70 years ago. I'm a lifelong parishioner of the diocese and Sacred Heart Church in Jeanette. Those attending the anniversary mass consider themselves the fortunate of the faithful. Absolutely, I'm on the church council and um, I try to help out with everything I can at church. I love it there. For Antoinette Myers, a 40-year member of the diocese, it was where she found peace for her soul and her soulmate. We had our first date, and then 16 days later, we went for ashes together. This is a blessed diocese. All right, the bishop says the future of the diocese will be on education, both spiritual and academic. And I asked him about the crozier he was carrying from the original bishop. And I asked, how heavy is that thing? He said, very heavy. It's made of solid brass. But he also said this, like the diocese, the crozier was made to last. In Greensburg, Ross Gadotti, KDKA News.